Hey foodies, Christina Conrad here, Foodie with a Life, and today we're going to be making a smoked trout mousse on homemade crostinis. Okay, so we're making our smoked trout mousse, and you have to use your food processor for this. So I have here eight ounces of cream cheese that I just brought to room temperature. Put that all in there. I have two cans of smoked trout, which you could just get in the grocery section. And this comes soaked in olive or canola oil. So just drain off the oil and then give it a little squeeze so you get most of that oil over there. And we have all the fish. I have here lemon zest. This is the zest from one lemon. Because this mixture, I really want it to be um, kind of tangy, a little, have, have like a little bit of a bite to it. I have here Greek yogurt. So we have some tang, we have some creaminess. And then I like things a little bit spicy. So I'm going to add a couple shots of cayenne pepper which just is totally optional, do what you love. And then just maybe a pinch of salt. Keep in mind we have two different, um, the cream cheese is a little salty and so is the trout, so you don't really need too much. And then our lemon juice. So this is the juice of two lemons. And it's just gonna depend on how juicy the lemons are that you buy that day, because sometimes you'll only need one and sometimes two will do it. So, let's give this a little, Judge. All right. I just want to scrape down the sides here. And you can do this two ways. You can have it be, um, have kind of like those flecks of fish in it if you don't want it super smooth. Um, I want to do it so that it's super smooth, so it's almost just like a very whipped mousse. So I'm going to put this back on. And I can see that while it's whirling around, the it's kind of starting to even out, so I'm not getting chunks, so I know that it's getting smooth, and I'm whipping some air into it. So I'm just going to try this, see if it needs anything. Mmm, that is really good. Okay, mmm, maybe just a touch more lemon juice, eh, and a little bit more cayenne. I want this to have a little kick. Perfect. All right, so chives are gonna finish us off, but I want the chives to stay intact so that's why I'm adding them at the end, and then we'll use some for the garnish on top. So I'm just gonna add in a few, give it one, one whirl around. So we can incorporate it, I'm ready to go. Okay. All right, so this is the best trick. So two options, I've, I always have options. Two options, you can either take the smoked trout mousse, you can cool it down in the fridge for mm, maybe half an hour to an hour, and then just smear it on the toast, which is a perfect option. Second option is that you're gonna pipe it into a Ziploc bag. So you fold over the edges, just like when you do frosting. And then we're gonna take this mixture, and we're gonna put it into the bag. Okay, so now I've put all of the mousse into my Ziploc baggie, and then we flip it around. So see, so now that is clean. I'm gonna get some of this air out. And I'm gonna take the corner and just give it a little snip. All right. So I have my little toasts here that I toasted for 375 degrees for eight minutes. And then these are just gonna go right on here. All right, so these are ready to go. Perfect for a tapas party, or if you're just having people over in the summer, serve alongside some nice icy white wine.